In this video, I'll show you how to set up a multi-camera editing workflow in DaVinci Resolve. We're in DaVinci Resolve. I imported my files. And in this case, what I can do is I can just sync my files from the original bin. I'll just show you here in the inspection window. Here you can see that all the cameras have got a camera number. And these numbers are gonna be the lineup for syncing the cameras. So in DaVinci Resolve, it's quite easy to sync all your camera files. What you can do is you can just right click on the folder in DaVinci Resolve and say create new multi-camera clip using selected pin. I'm just gonna call it multi-camera. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the metadata from the files under camera. This is gonna help us line up the cameras in the order that we want them to be. And here under angle sync. What we're going to be using in this case, we're going to be using the sound to sync it up. I could use in points if I set in points on all the files, but in this case, I'm just going to use the sound. This is a music video and all angles have recorded picture, of course, and sound as well from the playback music. Plus I have the original music file that's made in the studio. So the sound should be in sync. Let's see how it goes. And now it's already analyzed all my files and it's made a multi-camera clip up here. The way I can see it's a multi-camera clip is because of these squares. Compared to, if I click here, you can see what the original files look like. So I can double click on my multi-camera like it was a clip and it will show all the angles. And I can scroll through it just like any other clip. And this is also a quick way to see if all the files are in sync. And that looks fine. So now I got my multi-camera clip and they're all synced and I'm ready to go editing. I'm just gonna give myself some more space so I can see what I'm editing. So I'm gonna close the inspector and here I have a timeline that I've already been editing on. So I'm just gonna clear that and make a new timeline this one I'm gonna call version one. Usually I will make a bin that I would call work. New bin, work. And this is where I leave all my work files. Let me just move my multi-camera into work and my version one into work as well. I already loaded my multi-camera clip in the player window. And now I can just find the beginning I tend to bring the slate in on my first edit just so I can see all the information. I'm going to make an in point and make an out point. Then I'm just going to add the clip to my sequence. And now I have the sequence down here. And it's it just looks like a regular one clip file that I edited into the sequence. But this is how we get the magic started. We're going to click and choose multi-camera on the clip. And now you can see that when I move my cursor, all the files are moving at the same time following the cursor and they're all in sync. And now we're ready to edit. All right, I made a mistake. I'm just gonna hit undo for this. You notice down here, the three icons. This one means that I'm just editing video. This one is video and audio, or I'm just gonna edit audio from the different angles. First of all, I wanna make sure I'm only listening to good quality sound. In this case, the music recorded in the studio. And right now it's showing me camera one, but really what I wanna hear is the camera music or the original music file. So first I'm gonna switch it to just edit music and I'm gonna go all the way up in the beginning of my sequence, hit camera and now it says camera music. And then I'm gonna go back up here and make sure I'm only editing video. And now I'm ready to start doing my editing in multi-camera mode.
you can see every time I hit a new angle, it'll make a new edit down here. So if I didn't hit it right on the bead here, I can just go in and trim it. So we'll just go into trim mode. We're making sure we're just trim it to be precise where I want the change to be. Basically, you keep going with choosing new angles and trimming until you're satisfied with the whole sequence. And you can always do another version of it if you want to have more focus on the musicians or on the singer. If you want to make a deep dive into all the features that DaVinci Resolve offers when you do multi-cam editing, please check the description and the link below and you will be able to access a video where we go a bit more in depth in multi-camera editing and setting it up. So this was a really quick guidance how to get started with multi-camera editing in DaVinci Resolve. If you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you got any questions or comments please write them and I'll answer as soon as I can. Let's be better editors together.